In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Hello, everyone. Science Viking here, and it's time to return to Darkest Dungeon. So, who all is Resolve Level 3? So, Clarinel, Marley, Marier, and Campbell. So, we could actually put together a pretty good team of all Resolve Level 3 heroes to uh, attempt a mid difficulty mission if we wanted to. Also, I think Fribois probably should. Uh, receive some stress treatment. So I'll just drop him in the transept. Now, let's burn some cash. Right. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade the Houndmaster's armor. And Campbell's weapon. Let's see, who else do I want to upgrade? Alright, and let's visit the guild. Okay, I'm gonna have Campbell learn Illumination, because at mid-difficulty we start encountering enemies that use Stealth, so I'm probably going to replace Judgment with Illumination, so her four abilities would be Divine Comfort, Divine Grace, Dazzling Light, and Illumination. Illumination also raises the Torch level and reduces the enemy's uh, dodge. Alright, let's see about Clara now. Okay. So, for Clarinel, um, the two most important abilities, Throne Dagger and Poison Darts, are fully upgraded. I'm gonna upgrade Pick to the Face, though. And for Marley, Hound's Rush is not maxed out. Let's upgrade that. What would upgrading Target Whistle? Increase the amount that it reduces the enemy's prot. Increase the accuracy, though the accuracy is already very high. And increase the amount that it reduces the enemy's prot and the likelihood of doing so. Hmm. Cry Havoc is already good. What else to upgrade? Oh, let's... Let's look at Mercier, see what we can upgrade of his. Let's upgrade Retribution, and let's upgrade Crush. I'm going to upgrade Command. Alright, I'd say that's enough skill upgrading. Let's see if the Nomad Wagon has anything really good. So you're not impressed by the Rampart Shield. Not so impressed by the stun, the sun cloak either. The extra prot is nice, but the plus ten percent stress is not nice. Protective collar is good for some approaches to playing the houndmaster, but since I play the houndmaster as a primary damage dealer, it wouldn't work. The move charm could be good, but I don't want it right now. All right, let's embark. Okay, so what mid-difficulty missions do I have? I can go and try to get revenge on the Necromancer, which, in addition to getting me a, quite a lot of heirlooms, will give me the Martyr's Seal. 
That is quite amazing. So it increases the character's damage and uh, critical hit rate at death's door, while also increasing their death blow resistance to give them a better opportunity to remain at death's door, and increasing their maximum HP. That That is quite powerful. Let's see. I could potentially get uh, ex the exploration mission in the Warrens. The Fasting Seal. That's so... It just... there. It just removes food as a mechanic for one hero. That is interesting. For this, we can get the Fortunate Armlet. Not bad for the Leper. It does increase his uh, stress intake, but since the Leper can de-stress himself, that's less of a problem. And for the Cove, Heavy Boots, which increase move resistance and prot. Hmm. The plus 20% prot is quite tempting. This is a fairly short mission. I think I'm going to do this one first. Well, let's quick check on equipment. Right. Give Mary or the focus ring. Our Houndmaster already has the cudgel weight. And you know, the stun amulet would be good for it too. And the critical stone would actually be good for Clara now because I want her to go after the Houndmaster does. And Campbell already has the sacred seal and the Churgeon's charm. All right, let's head to the cove and get those heavy boots. All right, what do we need? Let's get another shovel, some medicinal herbs, bandages, and anti-venom. Bit of holy water, a couple of keys, food. Yeah, 12 should be plenty. And torches. Alright, let's embark. Yeah, the fish folk have resistance to bleeding, but not as much as the undead do, so... These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They right. must be flushed out. I'm gonna quick rearrange some skills. Mainly, I want Campbell to have, uh... Instead of Hand of Light, Illumination. That way we have a way of dealing with enemies that use stealth. Alright, we need to complete 100% of room battles. I'm gonna gamble that this isn't a room battle and go here. Of course, first we're gonna have our hallway battle. We are uh, Crusher, which has very high prot, not as high as the maggot, but pretty high. And a lot of hit points. I'm actually gonna start with poison darts on the plated maggot. Okay, three damage per round for four rounds. I'm just gonna ignore the maggot now and focus on the other enemies. Alright, Hound's Rush on the Energized Stinger. And Dazzling Light on the maggot to see if we can stun it. In Radiance, may we find victory. Alright. To try retribution on the energized stinger. Oh, it's out of range. And it's out of range of crush, too. Oh, I'll use retribution on the crusher. Right. So, on its next turn, the maggot dies. Yeah. 
<laughs> and the shocker's down. Maintain the offensive. Right. Let's use target whistle on the crusher. And Divine Grace on Clarinelle to get her back into uh, fighting form. Crush? I don't believe Crush does any extra damage to the mark. Well, at least he resisted the stun portion of that attack. Yeah, let's just keep using Crush. High health and high frost. And thrown dagger. And I really should have used a bandage on the, uh, the wounds of grave robber, but I forgot. But never hidden. Stick with Hound's Rush. Resisted bleeding. I'm not terribly surprised. Alright. Oh, the bleeding is worn off. Let's use poison darts. The mark isn't increasing the damage of thrown dagger by very much. Divine Grace. Critical healing. Nice bit of stress reduction there. And retribution. Because the extra damage from repose could be very useful. Of course, that does require him to actually target the uh, man at arms. And target whistle again. And now that this guy is both blighted and marked, now throwing dagger just does a bit more damage. I'm actually going to use Divine Comfort to get everyone back to full health. And Hound's Rush should finish the job. Well, I really just need to keep my mouth shut. Oh, well, that did it. Perhaps the turning point. Three Onyx just from a random enemy. Wow. Let's go return everyone to their correct positions. And we have our first curio, and we know what to do with this one. Whoa. Blood Course Meta Medallion. It's antiquarian only, but it's very good, as well as a lot of money. And a skeleton key. Alright, a barnacle chest, and as we learned last time, the key doesn't do anything for this one. And, and more onyx. For a task well performed. Yeah, opening that box was really impressive. Okay, Pelagy Wide Mouths. So they're basically groupers but stronger. That's not too bad. We just want to focus down on them one at a time. I don't think I even really need to worry about how it's about uh, marking them. I do need to worry about... Did spearfishing always have a move effect, or, uh... Alright, poison guards can come back. Did spearfishing always have a move effect, or is that a new... Oh, did they just resist it before, or is that a new effect of the higher level version? Well, Seaward Slash definitely hits for a lot more damage. Retribution. Whoa. Right. After saying that I need to focus down on a single one, I have kind of decided to do the opposite of that. Okay, spearfishing missed, that's good. Spearfishing does appear to have fairly low accuracy. Continually onslaught. Destroy. Divine Comfort. Fortunately, the heavily upgraded healing trinkets that the, uh, or the good set of healing trinkets that the, uh, Vestal has will help. Okay, reduced bleed resistance. Let's use Hound's Brush. Still won't finish him off, but I can finish him off with someone else. Like you, with flashing daggers. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. And he'll die next turn of Blight, so let's hit the one in the front with Blackjack. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. And divine comfort. 
and we're almost back up to full health again. And crush. And Seaward Slash even missed. Oh, Hounds Rush. As the fiend falls, a Whoa. Hope blossoms. Wow. Alright, and Skeleton Key should get us more stuff in this chest. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Okay, what else to drop? Uh, let me see. Drop the citrine, it's only worth 250 gold. But that's worth less than 12 crests. Whoa. Yeah, the loot is a little bit better on these mid difficulty missions. Of course, the enemies are a bit more challenging, but that's kind of the point. Okay, let's start with poison darts on the plated maggot. Currently, he's taking three damage per round. Use retribution on the maggot. This is a gamble, but okay. And now I'm going to use Hound's Rush on the maggot. Yep, it did enough damage, and the maggot will die next turn. Dazzling light on the crusher, so you can stun him. His, yeah, his stun resistance is fairly high, but dazzling light is very heavily upgraded, so it has a high stun chance. Anyway. Ah, great. We have a diseased grave robber. A death by inches. Alright. Let's see, he has stun resistance, so let's dazzling light the other one. And miss. And target whistle on the energized stinger. And crush on. I'll use on the stinger. Comfort. And I just realized the Vestal can't actually use Illumination from position 3, or position 4 rather. Well, I can move her if I deal with an enemy that has stealth. Well, let's finish off the Stinger. Or not. Let's just go ahead and miss that. Ow. That inflicts a lot of bleeding. Yeah, that's the eight damage per round for three rounds of bleeding ability. Alright. Now, fin I think evasion is a little high. Just a little bit. Alright, Divine Grace. Nine healing without a critical hit. That's nice. Crush on the stinger. Okay. That just the leaves the crusher. Okay, bandages. Let's increase the amount of blight this guy is suffering. More damage over time is better. Divine Grace again. And target whistle. I just fixed the bleeding and decided to inflict more bleeding. Alright. Let's skip retribution and just go straight for crush. Okay. Another bandage, and let's see what Throne Dagger can do now that he is blighted and blocked. Wow, it did a whole 8 damage. I'm impressed. I was hoping it'd do a bit more than that. Now, oh, crush. And Hounds Rush. And Hounds Miss. I, I, I'm having a hard time believing that Hounds Rush actually has an accuracy base of 95%. Right. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Alright. 
I'm gonna quick use the last of the bandages on the grave robber. That's the wrong item. I meant to use the food. Well, well, too late to change it now. Ooh. Mind that such missteps are the exception, and not the rule. Well, we're gonna have to hope. Okay, so there's nothing in this room. With my luck, there is going to end up being a battle down here. Oh, we have enough food to deal with hunger. Ooh, another trap. Ambushed by foul invention. Let me see, what what exactly does hemophilia do? Uh, uh let's me switch out. Minus 50% bleed resistance. That, that sounds about right for hemophilia. And here's a curio that I could interact with if I hadn't accidentally used up the medicinal herbs. Good job, Viking. But hemophilia is actually not that bad. You just need to bring a lot of bandages. Okay, poison darts on... Actually, you move back one. Target whistle on the cultist guardian, because... Or gladiator, because he needs to die quickly. Okay, actually I'm gonna use retribution on the, pellet, on the uh, cultist enchantress. And Illumination. I don't feel like letting you be uh, in stealth. Whoa, that did a lot of stress. Alright, in all probability, one of... Uh, Hound's Rush will take out the Gladiator. Whoa. The Vestal's mental state is going a bit downhill, though. Alright, Hound's Rush on the Gladiator. And he's down! And flashing daggers to wear down these two. And Divine Grace on the one who's marked. And Crush on the Wide Mouth because you would actually kill the Wide Mouth with Crush. Okay, Stress Wave causes quite a bit of stress, but it's not as bad as, uh... As, uh, Stressful Incantation. Finish off the enchantment. But every time I say that, every time I say it. Oh, well, Crush should do it. And now we're finally in a position where we actually need to clear corpses. Well, assuming I can't finish this guy off with Hound's Rush, which I probably can. I need to stop saying that. I really need to stop saying that. Well, let's use Retribution on the corpse farthest forward, because that way he can repost. And that does it! If you can't get to them, make them come to you. Horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Let's see. I'm gonna gamble on dropping the holy water to get the citrine. And if there... There isn't a room battle here, which means there must be a room battle on the other end, and I have to go all the way back. Though I haven't actually taken any unnecessary steps, because there was a room battle in this room, so I would have had to go all the way this way no matter what. Now we just have a bit of backtracking. And 
we're gonna have a hallway battle. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Ooh, more than a weary traveler. So we've had one hero take, I believe it's 500 steps. Okay, wait. So flashing daggers could hit the guy in stealth. Or it could hit nobody at all. It can also do that. Okay, I don't feel like letting you have stealth is horrible. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it. One of the stingers is down, though. Ah, shocking. And he's stunned, too. Stealth is gone now, it's because he attacked somebody. Let's see if you can finish him off with the dagger. You can! And divine comfort. Ooh, critical healing. It's just one more round of bleeding, so I'm just gonna have to use poison darts. A singular strike. And divine comfort again. Wait, why am I deciding not to use uh reeling about to break? Why am I deciding not to use bandages? We don't have any bandages. And I guess I managed to forget that. Aren't you glad I'm in charge of this expedition, huh? A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Okay, the Haste Chalice. It reduces the success rate of stun skills, but... Um... Hmm. Not crazy about it, but... I could sell it later, rather than having to, uh... Drop it, so... Actually, I dropped the shovels. And just gambled that there won't be another obstruction. And well, we have successful scouting, and there isn't. A couple of curios. Okay. I dropped the holy water, and I'm not risking interacting with this. Let's find some things to kill. The twisted faces of the damned, piled high and cloaked in malice. I really shouldn't be surprised at this point. Also, this is going to be a bit harder, because, uh, we don't have... What's his stun resistance? Only 70%, so we can potentially stun him. This is going to be a bit harder, because we don't have, um, any pull skills, so if he does succeed in summoning his minions, we have to fight our way through them. Poison darts again. May as well stack Blight on him. Okay, it's 120% base, his stun resistance is 120%, so it's a 0% chance of working. So just move back so we're back into our normal position. But Hound's Rush deals extra damage to marked enemies, in addition to inflicting even more damage over time. And we have managed to deplete about half of his hit points before he used Collect Call for the first time. Alright, the Man at Arms is going to focus on hacking his way through the, uh... I should have anticipated that. Right, let's see if we can stun the vessel to prevent it from, uh, helping him. Alright, crush the Man at Arms. Alright, she resisted the bleeding. He's taking 7 damage per turn. Of course, he does have life steal. Alright. 
He's protected and no longer marked, so let's see how much brush on the uh, man of arms. Oh, yay, he's showing off his collection. Okay, he's still protected, so I'm gonna, and I can't hit the man at arms with thrown dagger, so let's go with pick to the face. Okay, he shouldn't be protected anymore. He used target whistle first, though. Glad headbutt missed. Alright. Divine Grace, we do not want to lose Clara now. And now you can hit him with Crush. Let's just do that. And Hounds Rush. And Hounds Miss! Actually, I probably should kill the Collective Vestal. Well, I have to kill one of them now. So, one more hit and she's down. Let's use flashing daggers. That will also damage another one. Dazzling light. Let's see if we can stun him and prevent him from using black call. Well, it was worth a try. Ah. Hold fast. You are a healer, Campbell. Uh, Divine Grace. No, Divine Com Divine Grace is the one I want on yourself to get yourself off of Death's door. Hounds rush on him because he's marked. Crush on him too. He's down to 23 points. Thrown dagger. Actually, yeah, thrown dagger. And it missed. Great. Yeah, he gets scarier at higher difficulty levels. Okay, he didn't use collect call, though life steal is pretty scary in its own right. Especially given the fact that he received extra healing. Okay, poison dart since he's no longer marked. Target whistle so that he becomes. I think we've found a new record for the most ridiculous attack to miss. Target whistle missed. Okay, to find comfort so you can heal yourself and get the grave robber away from death's door. Okay, Headhunt, and now at the very she's at death's door. Oblivion. Well. Now she's not at death's door. And now she is again. And bleeding too. If I fall, don't put me in the ground. Okay, show collection is not that dangerous of ability. That is. Missed though. Okay, crush. Oh, that's what we needed. This line will not break. Now it's rush. Okay. This is no place for the weak or the foolhardy. <sighs> and Campbell's result. So the death blow was inflicted by the bleeding damage. Before I had a chance to heal her out of being at death's door. Okay, guard the guard the vessel. Or not, okay, crush on the already damaged highwayman. Okay, divine comfort, let's just focus on healing everyone. And Hounds Rush. A predator is often blind to its own peril. That's what you get, Houndmaster. I mean, that's what you get, uh, Collector. 
These nightmarish creatures can be felt. They can be beaten. I'm keeping both the trapezohedron and the uh, second satchel. I'm gonna start by feeding everybody to full health. Okay. That may use up all the food, and whatever it doesn't use up, we can just drop. Alright. And I'm also keeping the sickening satchel. For that, I'll drop, uh... I'll drop the skeleton keys. There aren't any more chests in here. Contains stashed heirlooms. Six more crests we don't have space for. Uh... Light up a torch, lit. drop the rest the of the torches. Clear. We require only the strength to follow it. And I'm doing this room battle. It's gonna be hard, but I think we can pull it off with three people. I'm actually gonna start with illumination to remove the Oracle stealth and miss. Great Eldritch Pull, and it worked too. Okay, target whistle on the, gar on the gladiator. So move forward one. Yay, stress wave. Yeah, you can tell I'm starting to get a little nervous. Yeah, that was that was right. brilliant. Oh, Definitely not a terrible decision there, Campbell. All right, we've got stressful incantation, and she's marked too. All right, Hound's Rush on the Gladiator, and it still misses. Ninety-five percent accuracy, ladies and gentlemen. This is what ninety-five percent accuracy. All right. Still targeting the Vestal despite the marked man at arms standing right next to her. All right, and I can punish that. Right. And he resisted the bleeding too, so I actually have to hit him again. Okay, that's good though. At least one of them is down. Comfort. Just focus on keeping everyone healed. Okay, Barnacle Barrier doesn't help if you are hit by repose to damage. In the meantime, I'm going to use Crush on the Oracle. Just need to hit the Oracle once with anything. And that did it! Alright, that just leaves the two more durable and damage inflicting A enemies. Blow to yeah. body and brain. You know, I have to give Campbell some credit. She's held up surprisingly well mentally with the number of times she's been on death's door in this mission. Uh, target whistle on uh, the bulwark because he's already guarding the uh, cultist gladiator. She's crush on the bulwark. Keep you keep that divine comfort going. Ah, crap. Need to end this brink, now. Facing the abyss. Hounds right. rush on the marked bulwark. Just keep wearing him down. Survival is a tenuous proposition in this sprawling tomb. Great, just great. Alright, crush on the gladiator, so he's at least out. Alright, that just leaves the bulwark. 95% accuracy! I'm really loving that 95% accuracy that that attack definitely has. Alright. 
Almost there. We've almost got this. And that did it. We won. Okay. This expedition at least promises success. Jute tapestry worth 4,500 gold in addition to the 3,500. Okay, the food can go. Alright. The antivenom can go. To keep the sacred scroll. I need to create two more empty spaces. Let's see. Definitely dropping the haste chalice for the Churchill's charm. And I think I'll drop the blood course medallion for the tapestry. And that is the end of that, and we're returning to the hamlet. I thought the that would be a routine. Abates. The things are driven back for a time. I thought it'd be a routine mission into the uh into a, a routine mid-difficulty mission, but I've discovered that apparently when you're doing a mid-difficulty mission, there's no such thing as routine. You manage to lose half the team. Yay. We got 42 crests, though. And we did get some resolve experience, but we lost two people. Well, that Let went horribly me share wrong. with you the terrible wonders I have come to know. Well, let's do some stress treatment. And also, sort of always been cured of his disease, now needs to be treated for his stress. Well, we made a lot of money and have a lot of heirlooms, at least. Okay, so we don't have, we still don't have enough, uh, deeds. Guild. Same thing with portraits. Hmm. Well, that went horribly wrong. And... Uh, that's actually not going to be the end for this episode, but to deal with potential sound issues, I do actually want to quick start up a new recording file. So, we're not done for the day, but I will be back in a second. I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor, but I was dead before they found me, and the letter was on its way. All right. I am back. I have spent some time in the uh, transept de-stressing from the stress damage that I experienced from that uh, mission. And we have 14 out of 16, so we have two empty spaces. Let's see. Wouldn't actually take much to upgrade the... We could upgrade the stagecoach network. I'm actually going to hold off on upgrading the stagecoach again for now, because I want to, uh... I want to upgrade either the blacksmith or the guild, because I think the reason why we keep utterly failing mid and higher, uh, mid difficulty missions is because the guild and the blacksmith aren't, uh, a lot- we, our heroes don't have sufficiently upgraded equipment to build this. So... I definitely want a Houndmaster, because I'm not sure we... Oh, we do have one of... Wait, the Houndmaster was one of the survivors. Well, I'm going to be getting an Abomination, no matter what. So... May as well grab this one. Tortured and reclusive. This man is more dangerous than he seems. And another houndmaster would be a bad idea. And now let's visit the survivalist. Yeah, 
have Fizdal on, learn Experimental Vapors, and Encourage. And as for Cardinal, let's see. Alright, she has Prey, that's very good. And Sanctuary would be a good one to get. Now let's see what Fribois can learn. Okay, planned takedown, giving us an advantage against the size 2 enemies. Scout ahead, gives plus 25% scouting chance, that's good. I'll get wound care. Now let's look into upgrading people's equipment. Let's see. Yeah, upgrade Pavasaur's armor. Fabois's weapon and armor. The only thing I could upgrade of Cardinal's is her weapon. And let's visit the guild. Yep, we lost some important people, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna let that stop. Right, let's see. Collect Bounty. I want to max out Collect Bounty. Let's see. Do I want Upper... You know, yeah, I want to upgrade Upper... Stick with that for now. And our occultist, Vavasur. So if I were to upgrade Eldritch Pull, all I would get is increased probability of pulling the enemy and higher critical hit rate. Alright, so if I were to upgrade uh, Vulnerability Hex, it would increase its accuracy and critical hit rate and make it slightly more likely to reduce an enemy's evasion. But since marking is the main important thing, I'm going to upgrade Weakening Curse instead. Right. And for Cardinal, Illumination isn't really important yet. However, the Vestal's healing abilities should be upgraded as much as they can be, and increasing the stun rate of Dazzling Lights is good. And for for uh, Fit still on, let's see, Plague Grenade, Noxious Blast, Incision. And... Let's upgrade Emboldening Vapors. Alright. I'd say I'm satisfied with how upgraded everyone is. Let's see if there's anything we can get at the Nomad Wagon. Hmm, the Move Amulet could be very good for Vavasur, but... Not as good as the Debuff Amulet or the Eldritch Killing Incense. Swordman's Crest could be good. I believe we already have a Knight's Crest. I think I'll pass on those for now. Alright. Let's see, so if we were to go to the Wield, we would get the Dodgy Sheath, which increase, essentially increases the High Women's ability to fight in melee, but greatly reduces the accuracy of his range and skills. If we were to go to the Warrens, we'd get more Eldritch Killing Incense. You get the Lucky Dice for a Jester. This actually looks like the best investment. We actually could use more Crests, despite how many we have, because we would need them to upgrade the, uh, Guild. And... 
The protective padlock could be pretty useful in the hands of an abomination, and we happen to have one of those. So, who all are we bringing? Bringing, uh, Fribois, Vavasur, Fizdalan, and Cardinal. Now for Cardinal, you are equipping the Sacred Scroll and the Churches Charm. For Vavasur, you have the Witch's Vial. And let's see, is there anything else? The Dodge Stone would actually be good for you. Vavasur is already good. And for Bois, I'm equipping the Agility Talon in place of the Dodge Stone, because it's classically superior to the Dodge Stone for a Bounty Hunter. And then the Heavy Boots, which increases his move resistance and prod. It reduces his speed, but that's actually kind of a good thing, because I want him to go after the uh, Occultist does, so that the Occultist can uh, inflict, can mark the enemy. So... Let's head to the cove. And plenty of bandages because we will end up fighting the collector again. At this point, I'm certain of that. Alright, and this is a mission where we'll be camping. Alright. Is eight torches enough? Probably, yeah. And embark. The smell of rotting fish is almost unbearable. This is going to be an interesting one. Shouldn't be too bad, though. It kind of depends on how good our scouting rules end up being. Alright, and we got a barnacle chest with nothing in it. And a trap. Watch your step. Alright, and it's already got dark. I've gotten the impression that the torch level decreases at different speeds on different missions. I may be completely wrong about that, but it just seems that way to me. And our first fight. I'm going to use Vulnerability Hex on this grouper, and that should allow me to end him next turn. Turn the volume down. Alright. And Dazzling Light on the other grouper. And collect bounty. Yes, and that is how we do that. And noxious blast on the sea maggot. And it resisted the blight. It has reduced accuracy though. Ah, it's our old friend stress wave. Vulnerability Hex on the other group. We should be able to finish it off with Collect Bounty. And I may as well hit him with Dazzling Light. Unfortunately, I can't use Collect Bounty, so come hither it is. And Plague Grenade! Yeah, you only have 20% blight resistance, Mr. Maggot. It means the sea maggot will die the next time it gets a turn. So, I may as well use Weakening Curse on the group that uses damage output. Quakes. Ow. 
Well, Divine Comfort, which, with this level of upgrading, restores quite a bit. And screw it, I'm just going to use Finish Him and this. Oh, Play Grenade then. Okay, the grouper is completely out of the equation. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. That just leaves the shaman as the last one standing. And not for long, either. I'll let the occultist finish the job. Destroy them all. Right? And once again, vulnerability hex of the Reaper. And since they're all the same enemy type, once one of them gets to go, they're probably all going to get to go, since they'll all have the same speed. And dazzling light on the middle to see if we can just keep him from attacking. And collect bounty. Destroy. 22 damage. And play grenade to start eroding health once in the back. And vulnerability hex on this one now. One at a time. That hurt a lot. And collect bounty. Obliterated. Alright, and let's just quick fully heal the Plague Doctor, because our Vestal can do that. And now they have 8 hit points each, and are each taking 8 points of light damage. And now they're all dead. This expedition at least promises success. Also, the to what I said earlier about scouting chance, I apparently managed to forget what kind of mission I was Mind on during such the mission. Steps are the exception, and not the rule. Also, let me quick rearrange your abilities. Yeah, let's drop disorienting blast and replace it with boldening vapors because I have numerous other abilities that can stun as well as clear corpses. Right. Still nothing. This has been a surprisingly quiet mission. Of course, now that I say that, something's gonna come out of the shadows and surprise me. Like that! Thank you, game. Ancient Very good examples. Lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a challenge. And the madmen are back! I haven't had to deal with them in a while. Well, let's see if we can remove the guardian in two turns, if not one turn. And let's see if we can stun the Brawler. Actually, I probably should have stunned the Madman. Probably can do that next turn, probably. And collect bounty on the Guardian. <laughs> I know just where you're weakest. And Noxious Blast on the Madman. So we can at least try to end the fight with him sooner. The problem is, his ability to inflict stress is kind of a problem. Also, Fremont dodged the accusation. I, I just imagine that as being like... The guy points at him, he's like, Oh no, I have no idea what you're talking about, you must have the wrong guy. And the madman, like, believes him and thinks that he's someone else. Well, vulnerability hex on the roll right now. And dazzling light on the grievers to get him, to shut him down for a minute. The madman will die of blight next turn. The brawler will die of collect bounty this turn. And the grouper can't do anything. There we got plague grenade. Yeah, the grouper doesn't have a whole lot of life left. This is how a life is taken. May as well use collect bounty. That is the end of that. Success so clearly in view. 
We have so or much extra food. Merely a trick I'm gonna of the light? quick feed people a little bit. That should be good. And we have scouting. I'm gonna quick see something. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So ninety percent of thirteen is probably going to turn out to be twelve, so I can only skip. Littering one. gold, trinkets right. and baubles. Paid for in blood. And let's read this. My end. I scrawled this. Victim of cruel fortune took me up on my wager. For I have lost my lucky coin and I now lie helpless as my blood flows swiftly from my ruined body. My fingers are cold. It was no trap, nor raving cultists that sealed my fate. We were ambushed by strange undulating shapes. Two small entities that I cannot hope to describe, and a third, much larger beast. Poor Moira was crushed into pulp as Therian defended her. He soon lost his arm and his wits left him. Shambler! Shambler! He kept shrieking as Raven yanked him to flee. I tried to play hero, to buy them a few moments. Blew away one of the smaller monsters. Fast shot, then smashed into the wall. The big one. Maybe they made it out. Let's see. Okay, nobody, everybody's already fully equipping. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave the Jade. And I am going to have to leave that note because we're a little short on inventory space. Alright. We are going to actually want to make camp fairly soon. Especially considering how high the Plague Doctor's stress level is. But for now, let's carry on. I'm going to have a room battle momentarily. And we have a Thrall! Alright. Vulnerability Hex on the Thrall. Masterfully executed. And collect bounty on the Thrall. And that is how you disarm a grenade. Dazzling light on the Shaman. I'll try and, s and raise the torch level. Noxious Blast on the Grouper. He does actually get to use Seaward Slash. I might be able to make Seaward Slash the only attack that... Okay, never mind. But I might be able to make Seaward Slash and... Okay, never mind again. I, I really just need to learn to keep my mouth shut about this. Alright, finish it off with Dazzling Light. Disadvantage. Raise the light no again. And we can kill him with Collect Bounty without using a, uh... Called your bluff, friend. Seize this momentum. Push on to well, the task. Let's end. see what Holy Water does with that. Nothing. Um... Let's just investigate it. And there's nothing there. Didn't really think Holy Water would do anything with it, but I figured it might. I'm skipping this room. This will be the one room that we skip. And Another mariner. Shut. Another misfortune. Yeah, before too long, we're gonna need to uh, make camp just to restore the light level without using torches. Wow. <laughs> that was some impressive scouting. We'll make camp in this room. Since there's not supposed to be any battles between here and there. Right, so got a trap to disarm. I'm actually gonna go with the bounty hunter. And it worked. And a crate full of potentially useful stuff. Okay, we need to drop something. Um gonna eat as much of this food as I can. Alright, so we're going to drop one food. I think I can accept that. And let's light up the firewood. Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. Alright, we can afford Wrapped feast rations. Alright. 
first thing I'm doing is Sanctuary, because I do not want a Midnight Surprise. as well have actually we have the Vestal use pep talk on the uh, plague doctor I can at least reduce the stress that he receives and I may as well use chant yeah I can use chant on the plague doctor because he's not religious but he'll still benefit some and then use pray on everyone and I've at least reduced the Plague Doctor's stress somewhat. And everybody else is pretty much good. In Radiance, may we find victory. And yep, no more Midnight Surprises this time. And our first discovery is... Torch Beyond Answer Measure. Reward for a task well performed. And Deeds Within Measure, too. Right. And let's see what's in here. Nothing is in here. And commence backtracking. Admittedly, it's not very much backtracking. We've we've had worse. Still, backtracking inherently is kind of nerve-wracking in this game because the torch level keeps going down and the stress levels keep going up as we go back through an area we've already covered. Okay, lighting up another torch. Brackish Tide. I'm gonna try Holy Water. Nothing. Let's try Medicinal Arrows. Nothing. Let's not interact with it. You know, the thought. How about anti venom? Yep. Water is purified, and apparently that reduces the hero's stress. And we have another shovel, which is good because we need it. And through the door. Nothing. Which I actually already knew, but it managed to surprise me anyway. The perks of short term memory loss. Ah, these guys are back. You could probably one-shot one of the sacrificial stack if it hits, so let's just do that. Dazzling light on the group, right? Just to lock him out of the fight for a second. Plague grenade also on the group. So he can start dying while he's locked out of the fight. And collect bounty. I had expected that to kill the Deep Stinger, but apparently I was wrong. Alright. And the group begins to go first this time. His speed is pretty high. May as well use the Deep Stinger. And Sacrificial Stab. Be gone, fiend. May as well collect the bounty on that corpse. Because now I can use Dazzling Light to build up the torch level a bit more. I did fail to stun the corpse. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. And... The, I think we've already seen this one, but I am keeping the uh, note since we actually can afford to do that now. And the sack is empty. Ah, bandits! It's been a while since we saw these. Well, vulnerability hex on the blood letter. He'll probably still survive one hit, but... Plague Grenade to start wearing these two down. In theory, anyway. Dazzling light, I can't hit the fusilier, so hit the a little bit. And yep, we're covered in the warmth of blanket fire. 
Lex Bounty. Ah, uh, point blank shot. We need his weakening curse on the blood letter. Now he will definitely die to collect bounty next to him. And Divine Comfort. Everybody's taking a little bit of damage, and we can fix that. Let's see if we can get these guys to actually be lighted. We can. And this should finish him off. Yep. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Okay, and the cutthroat is all that's really left as a threat. Oh, Dazzling Light should change that. Because he'll die next turn. And he'll die before he gets another action. Whoa. Yep, now his stun wears off. And now he dies. Broken. Maintain the offensive. And just finish oh. it. Right. A trifling victory. But a victory drop. nonetheless. Now light the last torch, drop the medicinal Arabs, take take the bust and the jade. And let's continue adventuring. Apparently I was able to skip two rooms. And we have successful scouting too. There's a curio in here. There's a room battle with it, though, and it's a curio rather than a treasure, so I think I'm going to pass on that. That's a bit high risk, and, well, I'm trying to avoid unnecessary risks. And, okay, so we need to, let's see, these just dropped the anti-venom for the crests. And, let's head back. That was considerably more Despite successful than that rank 3 aspect. Action. This twisted, cavernous maze seems almost traversable. We are kind of getting the hang of this place. Twenty-eight crests, in addition to six busts and two deeds. And three... Alright, and we already have two more people up to resolve level three. Oh, his Fribois has the disease of ennui. I didn't realize that was contagious. <laughs> the Fizdalon having the healer's gift is pretty good. Alright. Well, let's return to town. Let me share with you the terrible wonders I have come to know. Right. Let's drop Fizdalan up in the cloister. And... Let's take Fribois to the sanitarium to get rid of his disease, his ennui. 910 gold. It's a bit hefty, but we can afford it. That minus 25% virtue chance is a bit of a problem. Okay, so I need to gain 21 deeds to be able to upgrade armor smithing up to level 4. Okay, so if I were to trade away all of my busts, I could gain 6 deeds. So by comparison, the guild requires portraits. I would need to gain 24 portraits, so from all of my uh, busts I would get 3 portraits. From all of my deeds I would get 3 portraits, so that puts me at 6. And for crests, I can afford to trade away 31. Be 5. So 5 plus 6 is not 24. So I can't, I still can't upgrade the uh, guild, but I can potentially upgrade the blacksmith. So I need to gain uh, 21 deeds compared to the number that I have. Let's start by trading all the busts. That puts me at 17. 
And now let's start trading crests until I get enough. Right. So... Okay, 17 plus 6 is 23. 17 plus 10 is 27. 29, 30, 31, 32. Alright, this should be the right number. It is. Now I can upgrade weapon smithing or armor smithing, but not both. Hmm. I'll go with armor smithing to increase survival. Fan the flames, mold the metal. We are raising an army. And that is the end of the upgrading for a little while. And, with two quests completed, having lost two people at Resolve Level 3 and trained two new people up to Resolve Level 3 in the same episode, this is going to be the end for this part. Thank you all for watching, I love you all, and I'll see you next time when there will be, uh, hopefully fewer fatalities.